Hi guys, it's Sandeep from To Be Found, and uh, we have Sabrish with us here. What's up, guys? Hope everything is well. Uh, first of all, congrats on uh, getting selected for Neymar Junior Face, Sabrish. Thank you, Sandeep. Na. Yeah. So, To Be Found is uh, primarily a platform to display your sports skills and uh, eventually be found, and it also lets you do anything and everything in sports. Uh, literally, want to know about To Be Found? Install the app. It's all in there. So, Sabrish, how does it feel to be the first Indian to be handpicked by Neymar himself for this Global Fight tournament? And uh, how was it like uh, when you first spoke to Neymar? So, uh, I was shocked at first because I, uh, after the online activation, I got a message from Red Bull Neymar uh, Junior's five page ten uh, days before the video, which was posted officially on Insta- their Instagram page, that you've been selected. So, what I got was uh, congratulations, uh, Sabrish. Uh, you have been pre-selected for the Neymar Juniors Global 5 team 2020 and i was like is this real or is this not real so i was confused and i was shocked i was like jumping here and there and then uh, eventually when the video came out the 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 final official video came out and i was really happy that you know that uh, it's really uh, good that i'm the first indian to be selected yeah and uh, it's good and i was shocked and uh, coming to the part where i spoke to neymar it was we weren't informed that we are going to speak to neymar yep. uh, but uh, we could see there's a video call uh, blank you know the zoom call blank mm-hmm. it be blank mm-hmm. like you know neymar jr and we all were like yeah. uh, sh- like you know we were eager to see who's coming on the line so but uh, duncan was like duncan is a guy who manages the red bull neymar jr yeah. so he was like uh, we're just having a team discussion Mm-hmm. and uh, you guys just come and uh, we'll get to know the teammates we were speaking as casually as we can mm-hmm. and suddenly neymar comes up on the video saying hi guys you know, i was like <laughs> i was shocked i was like that's what, what? It is. Yeah. and yeah. then uh, then yeah i spoke to him and uh, it was it was a really good experience when we, when i spoke to him and of course, he he yeah. knew really good english as well and he was like hey hey sabrish you good and i was like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then it was It yeah. was good. It was good. I was shocked, and then we spoke about uh, yeah. the team, and Neymar asked us the questions like, "Where am, where, where am I from, and what do I do, and all that." And I was really happy to speak to him. Yeah. I was not really worried about what to, uh, what he's speaking to us. I was just happy that I'm seeing my idol in front of me <laughs> on a Zoom call on the screen talking to me. Yeah. So Sabrish, how are you uh, made aware of this tournament? Like uh, this online selection that's been done by Neymar. Like uh, how, how, how you came to know about this entire thing, the entire process. So basically I follow Neymar obviously is my idol and uh, I saw a video of him posting uh, can you outplay the mall mm-hmm. and um, I didn't know first of all if I would get selected mm-hmm. because there are a lot of uh, tough competitions of course yeah. which are there on Instagram Very like bad. there are thousands and thousands of videos Lots, yeah. and uh, I keep getting messages from my Instagram the fans and the the people DMing me saying Sabrish yeah. you're so good you have a ball you're the first uh, Indian street footballer that I can see who can play football nut makes as well as uh, you yeah. know like levin aside so, so yeah. and i was wondering should i give it a try or not so what i did was whatever game i played mm-hmm. i have uh, uploaded a few footages of it nut make and mm-hmm. rainbow flicks and some skills which neymar did and i the same skill which i posted my, my actual match skills mm-hmm. and i posted video i just tagged him and uh, and people were happy all my people who just told me to do it and they were happy yeah. and yeah. i just left it like that and then as i said earlier i got a message from them you're selected and yeah. boom i'm i'm next the next thing i'm i'm in the team now it's history is yeah, it yeah it's 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 amazing yeah okay so sabrish how was qatar and uh, how was the whole tournament experience and how are the other global teams so the whole qatar experience was really amazing such a wonderful uh, experience that we all had so i was been mm-hmm. excited for too long and i eventually got bored <laughs> because i was supposed to go play the red bull neymar juniors world final yeah. in 2020 yeah. itself in brazil because of the whole corona situation it was yeah. such a pain yes. where uh, for two years we waited and then then this happens where we had an extra two global teams yes mm-hmm. okay and uh, i was thinking we might have some less experience but then the whole team and the staff managed to like kick this off and it was a wonderful experience yeah. coming to the part my teammates i'm really uh, amazed to see my f- uh, good friend street pana also mm-hmm. known as jack downer yeah. and as you can know that he had a liver injury course, yeah. and then he's back to playing again yes. and that's that's really an inspiration really for us yeah. you know and i really was looking up to see this guy to play and it was really good to play alongside him yeah. and harriet and ivan and alves who's a mm-hmm. die hard neymar fan yeah. like me yeah. and it was whole the whole experience was amazing and uh, and also i have huge thanks to my coach uh, daniel and lisa 
I mean, yeah. like the, giving us such key points to play, yes. not so good. And uh, a- apart from that, the tournament was really physical. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, there was this moment, you know, whenever I get the ball, people will be like, <laughs> hit him, and you know, their language to hit me and yeah. all that. Yeah, so that happens, yeah. it was very tough. And yes. and also uh, before the game, we had a fight. Uh, I mean, the, there's other the Kuwait team had a fight, mm-hmm. and the moment I saw them fisting each other, and I was like. Hell no, I don't want to play. <laughs> so I was like, I shouldn't play this tournament. But then, yeah, uh, Lisa and Harriet and Street Pana, they were like, you know, screw all that. You just play your game. Yeah. You can do all this. And then before that, we had a practice game. I performed a mm-hmm. little bit bad. Mm-hmm. And um, Harriet and Lisa comes up to me. They come up to me and they're like, Sabrish, I know, I know you. I know you. You play good. <laughs> yeah. You just don't care about others. You do your thing. Then <laughs> what I ha- then what happens? I get, I'll be like, Jack, pass the ball, pass the ball. Yeah. I got the ball and I did a f- rainbow flick over this guy <laughs> and I went and yeah. Yeah. I started playing I my, I was being yeah. myself mm-hmm. in the game. Mm-hmm. So, and then uh, Lisa comes up to me and she was like, see, I told you, you play good. <laughs> and I was like, I was happy, you know, and then I got the confidence and the next yeah. day I went, mm-hmm. I saw the other teams and I lost my, uh, confidence that, you know, they're so tough, they're physical. Yeah. Yeah. They're like fisting each other, punching yes. each other. And I was like, Okay, then I was like, okay, then Jack was like, Sabrish, he was like, Saab, bro, you just play your game. (laughs) And I went and uh, we played our game. We managed to uh, win a game and uh, through two games. And it was a really good game. And also I've I've done a couple of good skills. Yep. Yes. I had really good skills in the game. And uh, Street Pana was managing the whole team. He was like one pillar in the team and he was telling me what to do and he was telling him what to do <laughs> and it was a good experience and I know and also I was really scared I shouldn't like have my leg broken with <laughs> such international players of you know course, people yeah. always used to tell me you're playing with noobs and all that yeah. so that is the main reason yes, sense, I played yeah. the futsal tournament in Delhi and Sublime. the Neymar 5 here to prove other people that you yeah. know I'm not only a street footballer, you know, I'm also a, a guy who can play and who, uh, also I can use a, this level, yeah, yeah oh, and also oh, I can oh, like not make high level play, high yes. level players also. Yeah, and it yeah. was a whole amazing experience yeah. meeting new people, making new relationships, yeah. uh, like good relationships among the teams and everything is good. I mean, like yeah. everything was such a good experience. Looking forward to see all the action. Yeah. So that's great, Sabrish. And uh, we were really very excited about the exclusive Panna clips that you made for To Be Found. And even the 2v2 alongside your uh, teammates. So, can we watch it now? Sure. This is the place where we play. The location itself is next to the beach. And mm-hmm. this is where we play 2v2 and 1v1. Mm-hmm. And before that, I'll just show you a small nutmeg video. Sure. Nice guys. That who's that guy? That was really fantastic. Yeah. So this guy is uh, the the one who Natmik. His name is Sajad. He's also a really good uh, yeah. content creator and a skiller from Kerala. Right. That was really awesome, guys. Fantastic. Yeah. So Sabrish, now uh, an important question. Uh, quite a bit. A uh, one which will be closer to your heart. So how was it uh, when you met Neymar for the first time? So meeting Neymar was one of the. It's close to my heart. So yeah. before that, the whole Red Bull team was scaring us. They were like, mm-hmm. we, me and my teammates used to go run to her, Sophie, and we used to ask her. Sophie is the one who was in charge for our team. Mm-hmm. And we used to ask, is Neymar coming today? And she was like, first of all, we are not even sure if he's going to make it today. Ooh. And uh, I was I was tensed and I was like, course, yeah. I waited for two years. And if what if yeah. I'm not going to meet Neymar, what is, yes. what's the point? Yes. And... Um, and I was like really scared. And then uh, once we entered the stadium and that was where they called us, you know what, guys, you guys need to be really quiet because you guys are going to be seated on top mm. of <laughs> where Neymar is going to be sitting. Okay. And I was shocked. And then I was like excited to see him. And then finally Neymar comes there and then our team um, uh, manages to get get us close to Neymar and yeah. then uh, the moment I went to Neymar, Neymar recognized, he recognized me and he was like, yo, you good? <laughs> and I was like, I was so happy that I just went and I hugged him. Tight hug, yeah. yeah. I just gave him a tight yeah. hug and he was like, he blinked, he winked his eye at me and then that yeah. was the, Such the most uh, touching yeah. part for me. I mean, like it was very, yeah. uh, it's close yeah. to my heart. I don't know what to say because I, when I was a kid, when I was small, I used to be with my friends, right? Yes. And I used to mimic whatever skill Neymar used to, I used to do the same thing. And they used to tell me, 
why are you doing all this skill man it's useless and but still i score i still i score right and yeah. i'll be like you know what uh, guys one day i'll meet him and i will definitely you prove you guys wrong and yeah. i will be playing with him and all that yeah. and then after a few years and here i am meeting him yeah. and you know and i'm happy that he recognized me yes, he did, and yeah. it's it's something you know that i really loved i'm proud of myself yeah and uh, sabrish we know that uh, you were through a lot of difficult situations uh, like you went put on right uh, you didn't play football for 2 years during the pandemic so would like to know how you managed to come back really strong really very strong cause it will be an inspiration for many youngsters who are watching this so uh, yeah uh, in 2016 where it all happened and uh, where i was playing with my friend and i felt a very bad pain in my stomach and then I ended up in hospital and then I had to quit football for 2 years mm-hmm. and what happened was I fell into depression and I was really depressed I couldn't uh, do anything else you know how depression feels like yeah. right yes. and I didn't want to do anything I lost motivation in studies playing football whatever I'm doing I just it was everything in a pause mm-hmm. and how I came back was uh, my mom she had seen me suffer like she was my backbone at that time that point of my time my mom used to take me everywhere and uh, hats off to my mom for doing yeah. such supporting me in a way yeah. for when i'm not well she used to take care of me so good and she used to always tell me go play go play and i was be like no no i just want to say because i was i used to get anxiety attacks panic attacks and all that right yeah. and then uh, just to avoid me avoiding panic attacks and anything i used to wear earphones Mm. I used to play the song called The Eye of the Tiger from the Rocky movie the boxing movie yeah. and I used to go for runs yeah. and I was 90 kg by the way no, no, no. and because I quit football in between right the yeah. tablets made me fat so if I just look back and where I am right now and I'm really happy that where I have reached mm-hmm. so for the people I'm just telling you that there there might be ups and downs in life yeah. you should never uh, think that your life is over So if I would have thought my life was over my life would have been over back then right so I when uh, back in 2017 after 16 16 2017 I started like slowly like you know focusing on myself where I I wanted to reduce my the first thing was for me I wanted to reduce my weight and I worked on that I slowly reduced my weight and then my fear of being outside yes. I had to overcome that I had to overcome of me not getting any panic attacks or anxiety attacks yeah. and then I slowly went out with that song in my ears and you know and then yeah I slowly got out of my tablet slowly not completely and toward the anxiety and everything and I slowly went out went out with my friends played I came back and my mom used to like uh, tell me it's okay you can do this and all that and then I slowly got on into depression that's a long process for me to tell yeah. you guys all what I've been through but it was a hell for me to explain it to you guys but coming to the short form of it it was a very uh downfall of my career that time because in my family like everybody were like you know what you're doing you can't do anything you're already done why don't you go to college finish it because pe- people who see won't know what I'm going yes. through right because oh, I'm what? feeling it yes True. so yeah then only my mom knows only my house people know what i'm yeah. going through so yeah. everybody seeing me they like oh, your son has become fat he's he's doing he's not doing anything in life and then slowly yeah. i've bounced back into my football i opened my yeah. instagram channel i started yeah. posting yeah. and 433 had posted one of my video yes yeah. yeah. and i was the first indian to be featured on 433 as well yeah. and slowly once they've posted and i saw a lot of uh, positive response coming from the fans they were like you're so good you need to play and they used to motivate me so that motivated me even more yeah to make videos then i started once i started posting the videos and i started getting a lot of followers and then a lot of people used to come encourage me yeah. saying you can do this why don't you do that and then slowly i posted more videos and everything started going viral like 433 started sharing me on the regular basis yeah. and everything yeah. 433 sports center and so many big pages yeah. ft football uh, ftb ftbl lot of pages started sharing me and then i started getting a lot of offers so coming to the financial part um i started getting paid through all these campaigns that i was doing right mm. uh like uh, instagram campaign and lot of uh, stuff so yeah football gave me everything see right right now i'm i met neymar because of football <laughs> uh, yeah. and i'm i'm also i'm working with a few brands yeah. and then obviously from uh, south uh, i got a offer yeah 
Congrats on that. Yeah. To act in a movie, so yeah, we heard about that, it. Yeah. Yes, and that's what I'm just saying. That to the people who is uh, watching this, you might you might have a downfall in your career. So yeah. never take that seriously. Always find a way to bounce back up. Yes. You just need a spark to light up your world to come up in life, and just don't listen to others. Yeah. Do your thing and stay focused and hustle a lot. Yes, that's one heck of a journey, guys.